Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am an adrenal fatigue recovery ninja and I'm dedicated to helping those that are suffering with an adrenal fatigue nightmare regain their health and bounce back from all the stressors that they're unable to bounce back with. Today I want to talk to you about cadmium toxicity. Cadmium toxicity is pretty much everywhere and not in our environment today. We find foods like wow, white flour and sugars, um, in the fertilizers, some cola, it's in the tap water, it's in the air from the burning of coal and petroleum, it's in canned food, cigarette smoke, um, it's in dyes, it's in hairsprays and bleaches, and a lot of welders will get cadmium toxicity. It's really, really important because when I talk to patients about an adrenal fatigue problem, I talk to them at the end of the day about a mitochondrial problem. And what that basically means is that their mitochondria has shifted the way it produces energy and it's wrapped down the adrenals and it's wrapped down the thyroid to the point where it's just conserving its fuel and its raw materials to produce energy for helping keeping the body alive and not really concerned about thriving and, and reducing uh, other stressors or, or dealing with neurotransmitters. It's just concerned about its survival. And cadmium is one of those things can really, really mess you up. Um, the most important thing you got to think about it is when your mitochondria needs to produce energy, it has two sides of the cofactor end. It has the inorganic cofactors and the organic cofactor. So the inorganic would be minerals like zinc and calcium and selenium. Um, and iron and copper and then the uh, the organic end would be obviously your vitamins but if you have exposures to cadmium then cadmium is going to displace these minerals namely zinc calcium and selenium which are really really important for methylation activity producing energy thyroid health producing thyroid hormone being able to lose weight and so if you have cadmium toxicity it can be really really subtle um, but you would have things like hypertension fatigue, muscle pain, impact your kidneys, your testes, not producing energy, just not thriving. And so I want you to think a little bit outside the box. Just because your blood tests are necessarily normal doesn't mean that you can't have cadmium toxicity. So we do um, a urine porphyrin test or we do a, um, a, urine, a hair test or even just an essential element test. But most important point about this video is I really, really think it behooves you to get on some kind of optimal mineral formula because really these minerals are really, really, or trace elements are really, really the first start, first starting point for helping you. And so um, I am trying to make my world a lot easier and give you guys support. Click on this link below and I'll show you which of the minerals that I suggest and potentially you can add it to your repertoire. But at the end of the day, I want you to start thinking about cadmium as one of those things that could be impacting you that you have no idea that's uh, that's basically ramping down your ability to produce energy and slowing down your mitochondria. My name is Dr. Joel Rosen and I look forward to helping you with your adrenal fatigue nightmare. Thank you so much.